I look at these forums, guys, on Facebook all the time and on social media, these EV forums, and people are constantly doing things, upgrading their cars. They're like, I'm going to put on a special cover on my car. I did that as well, guys. I, I went and got the laminate, put on your car, the ceramic coating, and they do all the stuff, change the wheels and do all this, you know, all these thing, add-ons and things. But you know what? No one is doing this. This is the absolute number one best thing you can do to your, your electric car. Well, most electric cars, about 90% of electric cars that people own that are on the that are actually on the market and that are owned by consumers, this is the best upgrade they can make. It's affordable and it would actually make their lives better, unlike most of the silly other upgrades we're doing, which really don't make any difference. Changing the wheels, yeah. Guys, if you want to, you can buy a sodium ion battery for your car right now, today. There's some advertising out there from one of the biggest uh, 12 volt battery manufacturers in China. You can simply order one online if you want to. Swap out your crappy old lead acid battery with a new and very affordable sodium ion battery. It uses cell technology, which is utterly, insanely impressive. And should these batteries, from what I can see, they're cheaper than lithium ion batteries. Now, not many people realize this, but the big problem with all modern cars, in fact, is because they are simply kind of like a, a big computer on wheels. It's not just a big battery pack, but they're using some advanced computers and there's a lot of battery drain, 12 volt battery drain, some problems with Hyundai EVs. There used to be problems with Tesla EVs and then Tesla went, uh, if this, this is ridiculous. And they put in lithium iron 12 volt batteries in their EVs. Since Tesla has done, has done that, their 12 volt battery problems have disappeared. But other manufacturers have not done that because it costs money to do that. People always talk about Tesla's cost cutting. They failed to mention the fact that um, the well, one part of the car is actually not a cost cutting mechanism. In fact, it adds a significant amount of cost. If you want a 12 volt lithium battery in your car, you want to, you've got to go and buy them aftermarket. BMW doesn't give you lithium batteries in a 12 volt lithium battery unless you buy the competition pack and you spend an extra 40,000 US dollars or something ridiculous like that. Oh, then we'll add in the, the lithium ion battery for you. You can pr pretty much buy a Tesla for the cost of that add on pack. But anyway, the point is here. 12 watt batteries in most cars today are woeful. They are under underpowered in terms of what they should be. You've got to replace them within a few years. That's a joke. But, but realistically, guys, when you're driving your car, how many people think after two or three, four years, uh, even one year in many cases, I'm going to go and replace my 12 volt battery? And you know what the companies say in the fine? They, what they do is they tell you this, and it's happened to me personally. You call them and say, my 12-volt battery's failed. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we don't cover that under warranty. It says in the fine print of your warranty disclosure, I bet you, go look this up in your country. Very good chance. And most manufacturers say this now. The 12-volt battery is considered a consumable product. Now, when your battery wears out, buy one of these instead. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. And guys, I just got a new solar system installed. I've got a new video coming soon. As soon as my solar system's actually working, it's not actually working right now. I'm waiting for this ridiculous smart meter to be installed. The electricity company is screwing me around. But anyway, if you want to get a new solar system installed, I think you should. You'll save money. I'm trying to think of all the ways I can save money. This is one of them. Uh, you guys know I'm in a position right now. I am, of course, got a family, got two young boys, uh, sole income owner, uh, earner here. We do have some pretty pretty decent hospital bills and just all these random bills that seem to be popping up. So saving money is important. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description below to Resync Solar, who are the company that I use to, to put myself in a position to save money. Now, sodium ion batteries will save you money as well versus a lithium ion battery. Because sodium ion batteries are meant to be 30% cheaper than lithium ion batteries. Now, is that the case now? Well, not really. They're pretty similar price to a lithium ion phosphate 12 volt battery, but Here's what the company is saying where you can buy them from. You can buy them from Omu. Omu, uh, they are using CATL's sodium iron cells in the battery. Now, Omu say these batteries have a three, time, three times longer lifespan. They are 50% lighter weight than lead acid batteries, which, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. Lead acid batteries are ridiculously heavy. And, you know, a lot of um, performance cars, they remove the lead acid battery and put a lithium one in to, to reduce the weight. So they're a pretty significant improvement. Now, you can buy these, you know, if you have an older model Tesla, this could be a nice upgrade to do this. Older ones that didn't have lithium ion batteries. The price is so good. It's ridiculous, right? $300, 
$300. This is American price, of course. So what's that? Australian dollars, just under $500. It's about the same price as a lead acid battery. And it's so much better. I mean, it's really a lot better. Now, I can actually tell you what the technology is that they're using these batteries. They are very safe chemistry. The cell cycle life values, they say, are similar to lithium ion phosphate, meaning you're going to get uh, so many cycles out of one of these batteries that I reckon you're probably never going to need to replace the battery in your car ever again, the 12 volt battery. So big, it's a big deal. It especially would mean peace of mind. Having, you know, having a car break down sucks and you don't know what it is often. When your 12 volt battery goes, you're like, what the hell? What, I mean, what, what's wrong with my car? Why is it bricked? Often the car doesn't tell you the 12 volt battery is gone, you need to replace it. Now, the technology, guys, I've looked this up. The CATL batteries, CATL actually say, say, they actually have some information in a press release about what this battery technology is, which is kind of cool. They say 160 watt hours per kilogram. That's basically the, exactly the same as you get in a BYD blade battery today. Um, the battery can charge in 15 minutes at 80% state of charge at room temperature. In a low temperature environment of minus 20, the sodium ion battery has a capacity retention rate of more than 90%. So guys, if you live in cold parts of the world, these are better than lithium ion phosphate batteries. You can't really buy 12 volt non-lithium ion phosphate batteries, like as in lithium ternary batteries, nickel, manganese, cobalt, etc. You can't really buy them. They're so expensive that um, you could probably buy one from China. There might be some boutique ones you can get, but they're honestly, unless you're a retard, I don't think you'd buy one because they're like thousands of dollars. Uh, when I say retard, I mean, even if you're a billionaire, why, why waste your money on that? It's stupid. But here's the thing. It maybe it's not so stupid because lithium ion phosphate batteries, when it's very cold, they can have problems. And that is the advantage of sodium ion batteries. In minus 20 degrees Celsius, very cold, these batteries retain, have a capacity retention of 90%. Apparently, system integration efficiency can reach more than 80%. The sodium ion battery's thermal stability exceeds the national safety requirements for batteries. That's all from CATL. This is a real serious option now, guys. And the fact that you can you can actually buy these today. I mean, years ago when I said that CATL was going to revolutionize the world when it came to batteries with sodium ion batteries, it appeared that would be true because um, CATL came out and said, our sodium ion batteries will be 30% cheaper than our lithium ion phosphate batteries, which is ridiculous. That would literally make every EV, if every EV used sodium ion batteries, and the price was 30% lower than lithium ion phosphate, the battery pack prices would be so low that essentially internal combustion would be dead so quickly because they'd just be so cheap. So if you want a longer range EV, just double the size of the battery. It would be so cheap anyway. Who cares, right? But that didn't happen. The reason that didn't happen is because the price of lithium carbonate fell astronomically. <laughs> the price of lithium carbon carbonate came down by like 80%. It, and essentially, the reason CHL even develop this chemistry is because lithium carbonate prices were ridiculous. But since this technology was basically unveiled, lithium carbonate prices have crashed. So lithium batteries have become much cheaper to manufacture. And therefore these sodium ion batteries, people thought they wouldn't be that cheap. Well, turns out they were wrong. Now I thought they wouldn't be either, but 300 US dollars for a battery like this. Now I've recently bought a lead acid battery for 300 US dollars. Tesla Model 3 Y, 12 volt sodium ion battery. You can buy it right now from them for $300. I've just had a look on their website, guys. I make nothing from this guy. I get emails every day saying, can you sell my product? Can you sell my Tesla accessories? Can you, I'll give you a, I'll give you a cut. I'll give you this, I'll give you that. I give them all the time. I basically, I never take them up. These guys, they've never heard of me before. Uh, so Omu, I'm spruiking your brand here. Um, I'm not asking for any money. I'm just like, hey, you guys watching the channel, let's get some value for you guys. 300 US dollars. Now, if I was going to make something out of this, then they'd probably have to charge you extra. So don't worry about that. Now, apparently, Tesla Model 3 12 volt battery, sodium ion, it's $300, same one for the Model Y. And they have a three year full replacement limited warranty. And they say replacement for OEM batteries with drop in compatibility. Sodium nickel chloride battery, proprietary 12 volt sodium cells. Now, I believe, like I said before, that they are CATL's sodium ion cells, which would make sense considering CATL are the biggest battery company in the world. 
Now guys, I'll put a link in the description below. So if you want to check out those batteries, you can. Unfortunately, it does appear this is an American business, but I'm sure you'll be able to source them in other countries around the world as well. Thanks for watching.